At what point does an oxygen sensor's performance start to decline? Well, it's hard to say because a lot of it depends on the condition of the engine. If a high mileage engine is using oil due to piston ring, cylinder, or valve guide wear, phosphorus from the oil will contaminate the oxygen sensor and accelerate the aging process. The same applies for coolant that may be seeping past a leaky head gasket. As a rule, the service life of the oxygen sensor on most 1996 and newer vehicles should be around 100,000 to 150,000 miles or even more, assuming there are no problems that could cause the oxygen sensor to fail prematurely. Oxygen sensors should only be replaced when it is necessary. Most late model vehicles do not have a recommended replacement interval for the oxygen sensors. Like other engine sensors, there is no need to replace an oxygen sensor as long as it is working properly and accurately reading the oxygen content of the exhaust. It is generally assumed as long as the check engine light is off and there are no O2 sensor codes, the O2 sensor, well, they're probably functioning as intended. But this assumption may not be correct in the case of a sensor that might be biased rich or lean or has become sluggish and is slow to respond to changes in the air-fuel mixture. Such problems may not be bad enough to set a code, but they could have a detrimental effect on engine performance, fuel economy, and even emissions. If an oxygen sensor is not reading properly or it is borderline, it should be replaced regardless of the age or mileage of the sensor. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.